here's how to do the SD88 Pro Specific stuff for like emulating it. So here you go. Then we import. So import high def. Again, this probably will not work on a 32 bit machine because it's four gigabytes. Then, okay, now that we have this in place, okay, then. We're going to open. Um, now, of course, I've mentioned that we need, so for this, we're going to go to setup and we're going to change one important little setting, MIDI, and then keep that. Now, we go to samples, tell it to, and this also works for visualizing general MIDI files. So if you can keep it on MIDI volume. Or if you want reverb, this. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to open Fami Commodore. Yes, that song. And we're going to use, again, this is more laborious because we're dealing with a larger thing here. And it'll import and let it chew through. Now, first thing we do, set this to here. And then set this to, and so, and again, you'll want to keep in mind that, like what we're gonna do here. And then, okay, this is gonna be a little larger, but you set the, look for anything, again, if you're here, we're looking for, in this case, the way it's structured, these shorter numbers are important because they're the drum stuff. And look, these are more evident when they're Come on, there's still a lot of these, and they won't make easily translate here, but we have double click powers, so we can get this working, and then let's see how this is going to do. So take this, 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 as you see, the rock means it's, it's a power kit, as obvious, and, but we still haven't touched the resampling this luckily that won't be extremely arduous because some of these there's a lot it's key splits are being done here i still will cross check this though because it would be reasonable to do this and strolling through all these manually that is not good plus even though some samples might have volume lower they're still not inaudible at the four range though you'll want to just again spray and pray hold down the button and that will work. Now keep in mind, again, this is for 88 Pro stuff, and a real 88 Pro is limited to 64 things. So this can go double the normal polyphony. And but of course, doing 60 64 will fill up a 4K, a fill up 4K. So you really need to watch this because and 137. Again, you don't want to manually scroll through this, look for the shorter names, because those are what will be your trouble spots if you don't fix these volumes. Pico Nico won't have the issue, but again, specifically Pico Nico, the parts from it still have issues. Again, I can try, I can test that, but nevertheless, this, but either way, you'll still want to crank the, in the case of the Jumbox thing, everything is U64, but then now we're going to test this. Look through everything, and as you see, nothing dips too low, and that's important. That is important. And okay, I think we've got the idea now for instruments. Well, you'll see here, there's only, and yeah, there's the 88 Pro stuff. So, first thing we're going to do is, and here, all we need to do is the resampling, max that out, and you could do this this way. Actually, that's the most easy way to do it, but keep track of what you're doing. Now, if you want, you can include the pan, the, re the very end, but here we're going to keep it simple. Now, what's important here is that you're going to, is that this, so we have the AD probably takes a little bit more that, that one step needs to be fixed. And this is where the 24-bit thing comes in real handy, even though it it's great for the other things too. This makes it really wonderful because, you know, 
88 Pro isn't 16-bit, though don't think you can turn off the other one and have it. So it's better to have everything proper bit depth. Yeah, in terms of sample, but your output, keep it high so that core scope is happy. And then, then we get through these drums again, big wall of ham, but it's not that bad if you think about it. Now, to fix this, we have to increment through here and this will be very, very cool, so to speak. It's kind of, okay, but as you can see here, we start to approach the, we're approaching the, I think this, again, really, really, and then here, so as we go through this again, now the, the important part here, so once we finish with these, 34 instruments, I, yeah, 34. So it's, it's not altogether that bad. It's not like horrendous, but it's, again, the file size of the modules ends up being the same size because even the jump box samples are very long, but here there's a lot of small samples that are smaller, but not anywhere near as compact as your normal module files. So, and again, this interpolation step helps with it retaining synth quality. We're almost there. Well, almost to the point at which I, and again, to the point at which I will demonstrate the, the point at which I demonstrate, when which I demonstrate the, the, now for the 88 Pro effects, Remember that the 88 Pro actually has more effects than you think it does. And the way we replicate those is using, again, use the DigiBooster Echo or the DirectXX. I've confirmed on IRC with the open developers that, okay, so of course this is per channel, but considering how control change works. So here, plugins. So we're gonna select one of these. And so LFO, then take this and then we'll want to room effects. The 88 Pro has an echo effect. Then, so we, and, and you can feed stuff into each other. So now we don't use internet plugins, but then we, the 88 Pro has chorus. And then what we do here, and compressor has that. Distortion has the guitar amp effect. And then echo. Again, that's an additional thing if you need it. Flanger, also an 88 Pro, but also part of Yamaha XG for its chorus mode. Then here, Gargle, again, also an 88 Pro effect. Then we select this. Then, because again, so basically have all the effects. These are the effects that come with it. But even the DOS player for LibOpen MBT that runs on a 386 supports these. So all of these. Now, what you'll want to do, so, and then if you want reverb on channel, let's say you want saw to have reverb effect, set it to, 
set it to again. So you set it to set it to. So if you want reverb, one of these two, and you can. And there you go. The parameters. Let's say you want to set this to LFO for the for that. Well, again, no. If you want to apply it to proper channels, you'll have to assign it for channels. So these are actually the same. And if you want to stack them, you'll have to link through effects. But you get the idea. It's you can fake 88 Pro insertion effects using which is CC94 via the plugin effects and these will and then um and this is how you do it so with that and then save save it as that and then the same old importing it to course you and you you'll want to use and again the stream export and the dsp effects go wild with those to the a point where it's like mimicking your original song. And with that out of the way, we'll see you in the next video.